Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You thought you could get away with it, Ninja Kiwi. You really thought that you could sneak this update in and no one would notice. You think that you could just give us, you, you could give us the map editor and the paragon change and think we wouldn't notice the biggest and craziest change to Mortar Monkey and Striker Jones ever. I haven't really seen anybody talk about this at the time of filming and it needs to be talked about. We all know that I despise the Mortar Monkey, okay? It's always been just bad. It's always just not been that great. And Ninja Kiwi has decided to make Mortar Monkeys insane, like actually broken. And so today we're gonna talk about a new hidden ability that they just snuck into Striker Jones and some changes to the Mortar Monkeys and we're gonna be trying them out. So with the update, they said with the Mortar Monkey, we're looking to shake up Mortar in a couple small ways this update, along with Striker Jones changes noted further on for multi-mortaring synergy. For the base level mortar has far more pierce than should ever be necessary at low rounds, but doesn't hit beefy enough for the low fire rate. So we're trading up base pierce for damage. What? This upgrade is seeking a stat rework that considers artillery battery as now always active at T5 instead of pumping up the damage numbers. So mortar monkey now does two damage. Two damage. Its pierce was removed, removed by a ton. Bigger Blast Pierce is now increased if you get that. Balloon Buster damage goes to now, goes to three. Big one damage remains at seven. So popping on main attack explosion radius increase. Main attack cooldown delay. Popping off ceramic damage reduced a little bit. Lead damage reduced. Fortified, these are all been reduced, but doesn't matter because it just does an insane amount of damage. It's crazy and with striker jones striker jones now has a level 7 ability target focus which allows all mortar monkeys to follow the cursor and have 30 percent improved accuracy at the end of the ability duration mortar snap back to the previous location a new target can be set on mortar during the ability to break them out early i've talked about this for a while now and one of my main beasts with mortar monkeys is it's so hard to target multiple mortar monkeys right if you have an army of mortar monkeys you can't just like click on them and have them target places right so they're always targeting one spot which makes it really difficult for microwing and really using a bunch of mortars to the max potential i've always wanted to have some kind of thing just like the dartling gunner has an ability to just like push and then like relock all mortar monkeys onto one spot but now this is exactly how it works with the level 7 striker jones we can now have the mortars target where our mouse is so we can now have all mortars just follow our mouse as we go along which is crazy which makes mortar strategies not only viable but good like really good so today we're gonna be doing basically like a mortar only strategy with striker jones of course without striker jones pretty useless but with striker jones really really strong so now they actually start by doing two damage each which is pretty crazy actually like, they're already going to be picking it up and doing way better in the early rounds, right? Like, who cares about 40 pierce, right? No, but it's not, like, any of any importance. But now we can actually do two damage each. So, base level mortars are going to be so good, right? So much better. We can always get bigger blast as well. And for now, I mean, we're doing fine. We can just go ahead and get ourselves some banana farms. Now I feel like the Mortar Monkey could actually have potential to be crazy. And I want to see how far this Mortar Monkey is going to be able to carry us into the late game. Base Mortar Monkey, 400 pots. Like, holy guacamole. Let's get another one. And let's just go ahead and get Bernie stuff. And then we can have Bernie stuff. And then probably just rapid fire. And then that way we're always able to just like have balloons get on fire. I guess we could just put it right there, which would probably be a little bit nicer. I want to see what's like the best cross path for things. So what's really nice is we can also pop black balloons. So it makes all black balloons less resistant to explosive damage, which means they're not just immune. So you're actually just fine with this, right? I'm going to go ahead and just get signal flare so we don't have to worry about camo balloons. 
We can deal, now we can literally deal with all types of balloons, right? I'll probably want to go ahead and upgrade this guy in a little bit, but I'm still... And again, this also does two damage, right? Like, Mortar Monkeys just having a base of two damage is insane! It's literally double. Like, there, it's literally double putting down more. I'm having a blast with this. Alright, let's go ahead. Biker Bones. Okay. So... Yeah, the next upgrade, level oh, level seven's when we get it. So his next level is when we get this new thing. So, Mortar Monkey's blast radius increased by 10%, which is pretty substantial. You're gonna be able to see some pretty big explosions here. And, can we go one more marketplace? Let's go, okay. All right, he's level seven now. So we have this new ability. Which is like what it's all about. Okay, heavy shells and then balloon buster. So the way this ability works now is when you push it, mortars will now target where my cursor is. Look at this. Look, they're just following. So I can literally follow balloons and it's for 15 seconds. And then after the ability is over, they just go back. And it's on a pretty short cooldown, right? That's a pretty short cooldown and it works very, very well. So now anytime balloons like get by or we start struggling or things start getting a little out of control, we're good. That's, I'm, I'm like, I'm freaking out over here, okay? Okay, we're gonna be having to go up against a Moab soon. Uh, just so we're ready, I think I'm just gonna get artillery. Okay, I can get one more, I can get one more marketplace and then with the marketplace, I'm gonna go ahead and get artillery battery. <laughs> now we'll be good. Well, we're gonna like barely have it, okay. So now, as soon as the Moab shows up, we can actually use the ability, and watch this. So we can use the ability, and then we can just follow the Moab! Look! That's crazy! That is insane! And we can look at this, we can just target all of it, and then immediately, it just snaps back to where it was. I think that is such a good update. Videos, I've been saying that it'd be so cool to be able to have a thing where you can just target all your mortar monkeys. And now we have it. So now all of our mortar monkeys, we can tell them where we want to go, how we want this to work out, and it's been doing very well. I don't know what's the better cross path. I'm pretty sure getting Bernie stuff, like Bernie stuff, is way better. But I wonder if balloon incineration mixed with Bernie stuff, does do these two things, does the biggest one and balloon incineration work together? Right? I don't know if, the, if those two Bernie stuff things work. I'm gonna find out real fast, actually. Let's test something. Let's do a little experimentation. So first question is, what is the better cross path for top? Let's just say the biggest one. Okay, we're gonna put the biggest one right here. Let's see what 999 ZOMGs look like. Can he pop all of them? So, not bad. It has some pretty good damage. Not bad. Okay, so by the time the ZOMGs... Get to right there, it's about 500,000, they're kind of pot. So, let's clear these guy out, and then let's see what this, what happens when we put on Bernie stuff, and then we put Bernie stuff here. Let's see what that looks like with 999 ZOMGs. So, oh my gosh, that's not even a question. It's not even a question. Bernie stuff is insane. Bernie stuff is the play. He's already got a million pops. Okay, yeah, this is the play. Anyways, always Bernie stuff is the play for top hat. Like there's like there's no there was no question about it. That is the play. We can hit every single type of balloon, which is pretty neat. I'm interested to see how well we're gonna be able to do against like crazy late game stuff. But I think this look at this. Oh, we can just use this ability, follow the Moabs. Look, it just follows my mouse everywhere. Like, yearum, yearum, yearum. I love that. We have abilities. Oh, we also have artillery command. So since he's level 10, we can reset the cooldown on our mortar monkeys, which is always really, really nice. I think a Striker Jones like setup is just unbelievable now. All right, here we go. Let's see how this works. So I can use so stun, and then I can, look, artillery battery just follows it. Look at this. That's so good. So popping on is like the new, it's been changed a little bit. So I'm interested to see how it goes, right? So popping all, popping all has permanent rapid attack speed, enhances the BAD embossed image of all artillery batteries. Popping all rains explosions over the whole screen, damages balloons and stunning them periodically. All right, boom. We now have popping all, which is like, that is so many explosions. Look at how many times he hits the button. He's like, 
So anytime we have any problems, look, we can just like follow it. Look at this. Look at how it just follows my mouse. That is so satisfying. That makes it really fun to use. I guess we probably want to put all of our border monkeys around here and then we can get a... We'll put a village down and then we can also get a alchemist down as well. It's been a while since I've actually ultra boosted a tower, which I think is going to be really fun, honestly. And now let's get permabrew, get a nice little jungle drums and we can go ahead and just get like homeland defense because now we can just have this crazy like go like we could have basically a huge buff if we need to right so we can use basically we can use pop and oz ability plus homeland defense so we can use homeland defense plus this ability and plus this so watch so one two and three look at this look at how all of them follow it's just like death it's just a doom it just like follows your mouth and you're just like i'm gonna destroy everything this is so sick all right i need ultra boost and we got to start ultra boosting these i'm gonna just go back here and i'm just gonna i'd like to get the cooldown reduction so it reduces ability cooldowns by 20%. And we have a lot of ability cooldowns, so I think that's going to be really nice. Okay, here we go. ZoMG. I'm not in double speed. Ready? One, two, three. Instantly, like, if that was in triple speed, it would have just melted it. And they just, look at this. Look at the explosions. <laughs> look at the, he just, like, dances back and forth. Holy cow. Okay. That is a lot of explosions. So look at this. All right, ready? And boop. And then we can just do this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's just pure chaos and explosions. The artillery batteries do extra damage to BADs. So I think that is going to be pretty important to have. And let's see what happens to the DDTs. Just insta demolished. And look at this. Here, we can just use this ability. Like, watch. They're coming through. And then let's use all this ability. And then look. Oh, my goodness. Ninja Kiwi, you guys think you can just get away with this? You guys think you can just sneak in this update and nobody would notice? I think literally just the addition of this update from Striker Jones has made a insane difference. Okay, so that's 40,000, 19,000. So they actually do pretty well by themselves, actually. Uh, that was... That was without any bonuses, by the way. So that was just the BAD round 100. I'm gonna use every ability, and then I'm gonna have it go on top of this and double damage. Oh my gosh! Yeah, let's try to beat round 140. The fortified BAD, mind you, okay? A fortified BAD is normally no joke. But yeah, I need to make sure I just like, you can just spam that ability, which is so cool. All right, I'm just kind of waiting for, okay, here we go. Round 140 is gonna be like right around the corner. All right, here we go, ready? And all right, use every ability, boom, boom, boom. Boom and boom. Okay, holy cow. That's a fortified BAD! Wait, this, hold, this is the fortified BAD. It got halfway through! And we can just use it again. Look, we can just follow the ZOMGs. Literally just following them. All right, melt them all, keep going. All right, and look at how fast the abilities come off. Now I can just use all my abilities again. And they get double damage. And they just all follow. Oh, look, they can follow my mouse again. All right, here we go. Just following my mouse again. All right, concussive shot that stuns them. Yeah, because you can constantly stun them too. Does artillery battery do more damage to stun balloons? I think there's something that does, right? Heavy shells do extra damage and all stun balloons. All right, what's doing the most? 2 million pops, 1.8 million pops. They're actually all doing pretty well. This Bernie stuff's not bad, but I think because it removes Fortified. Let's see. So 200,000, 100, so they all do like hundreds of thousands of damage. And they're like relatively pretty cheap towers. They work to get, the synergy is insane now. Ninja Kiwi, you have outdone yourself. Do you think this is a new insane OP strategy? Do you think this is what it takes to make borders like great again? I'd love to know what you guys think. I'll see you guys tomorrow.